Hey guys, Jester here. So I recently acquired a couple of items. Uh, it is called Haven the Free City. And it is an older version of Dungeons and Dragons game. Um, it come it, the, that was the first of a, a two-part set. Uh, and then the Haven Secrets of Labyrinth is the second part. So this video here is going to be an, an unboxing, so to speak, because uh, I really have no idea what any of this is. But first, before I open these bad boys up, I'm going to read to you a little bit about what the product is. So Haven the Free City, uh, which is a boxed set, it says Haven the Free City can be used with any fantasy role-playing system that accepts the existence of magic in a multiracial universe and is designed as an interrelated series with Thieves Guild, forming the basis for complete campaign universe. Ample space is provided for the GM to incorporate features, politics, and personalities from his own campaign into the fabric of the city. This package includes an overview of the city of Haven and the region of the Ten Cities, and explanations of the terminology used in the books. Seven booklets describing the seven boroughs and neighborhoods of the city with major families, personalities, shops, taverns, and residences, and possible adventures. A booklet of random encounters and statistics for all NPCs described in the text. Eleven detailed neighborhood maps showing the locations of shops and other places of interest described in the text poster-sized color map of the entire city showing over 100 noted landmarks. So, if your players are looking for a place to spend the ill-gotten gains from their last expedition, seeking to establish a more permanent base of operations for their favorite adventurers, or are just plain tired of skulking around uncharted dungeon corridors for the 20th week in a row, bring them to Haven the Free City, the biggest and best fantasy city ever published. And this is from Game Lords Limited. So, now it spoke of a uh, Thieves Guild, which I'm assuming uh, because it's uh, highlighted and got the TM designation that it, that's an actual gaming system. I'm not really sure. Uh, talked about the Ten Cities, the only Ten Cities I've ever heard of. Uh, references of uh, Forgotten Realms. So I don't know if this has anything to do with Forgotten Realms. I don't really know anything about this at all whatsoever. I just saw it and online and thought it would, looked really cool. And uh, it, I've always wanted to play some sort of thieves-based um, game, um, kind of sort sort of like uh, uh, Lankmar. I've always wanted to been interested in Lankmar and wanted to try that out, but just never got, uh, just never went ahead and purchased it. So, um, you know, so this this was kind of the alternate for me. Um, Haven Secrets of the Labyrinth. What it says is, in Haven, the free city, gamers were introduced to the bustling trade city of Haven, where opportunities for adventure, intrigue, and excitement waited on every street corner. Now the saga of the city continues in Haven, Secrets of the Labyrinth. In this second volume of Haven series, GMs will find detailed descriptions of over 120 shops, taverns, and residences, numerous random encounters, and hundreds of NPCs creating an ever-changing tapestry of events, personalities, conflict, and intrigue. Players can join up with a mercenary company or a caravan traveling to distant lands, dare to venture into the notorious labyrinth, the Thieves' Quarter of Haven, or become embroiled in the deadly rivalry between the Thieves' Guild and the sinister Black Hand. Over a dozen scenarios are outlined for the GM's convenience to provide hours of adventuring as the players become involved in the struggle of an exiled elvish prince to avoid capture and rega regain his throne, or the race to save a transformed son of a noble family from a fate worse than death in the horse market. Each volume in the Haven series can be used with a, any fantasy role-playing system that accepts the existence of magic and a multiracial universe, and is designed to be an interrelated series with Thieves Guild, forming the basis for a complete campaign universe. However, each can also be used independently of the others. Space is provided for the GM to incorporate 
features, politics, and personalities from his own campaign into the fabric of the city. Secrets of the Labyrinth also includes 10 detailed neighborhood maps completing the entire south side of the city and showing such areas of interest as South Docks, where the ships of many lands come with their fabulous cargoes, the colorful bazaar called the Thieves' Market, and the forbidding towers of the city's prison, the Grey Halls. So, let your players become part of this continuing saga in Haven, The Secrets of the Labyrinth, the latest jewel in the story of the biggest and best fantasy city ever published. So, we are going to crack open these boys and see what we got. Got a oh, here's the big map that they're talking about. So yeah, that's a huge map of the city. Huge map of the city. A little welcome, welcome uh, introduction, and it gives you all of the locations. Got, let's see, does it actually show a copyright on here? We'll be looking for copyrights here in a minute. To see when this year, what year this was actually created. Oh, copyright 1981 and 1984 by Game Lords. So this is this is pretty old, folks. Um, so yeah, you've got uh, you got you got the overview booklet. Everything gives you a little history and, and such. Um, to be able to, to create your shops and stuff. Um, it's, it wasn't completely fleshed out. It gives the, the game master freedom to create his own shops and stuff. Um, then you've got another another booklet here. Uh, it's called the Borough of the Heights: uh, Politics, Personalities, and Localities. Um, so it talks about the major families in the city. And some NPC information and uh, shops and taverns and residences, just general general stuff there. Um, got some brief descriptions of some of the places. <laughs> then you got the borough of the North Corridor, same thing. So you got the borough of the Heights, borough. Of the, so these are so each booklet here is. Uh, Different sections of the city. So you got the uh, the borough of the Heights, the borough of the North Corridor. You got the borough of the Commons. You got Trade Island. You got the borough of the Outlands. The borough of the South Corridor. Labyrinth, which they said was the Thieves' Guild. Then you've got a random encounters and NPC descriptions. It's so funny to look at this because it's, it, 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 it's, it's definitely a uh, old style printer printing. <laughs> Oh wow, I haven't seen this kind of print in forever. This is crazy. Alright, and then you've got some cardboard stock um, cutouts of different sections of the cities. The different um, the outlands, the south corridor, yeah. So it's got all that, the heights. It's got all that in there. Um, and that, that's, that's the rest of the box. So... So there you have the, the box set. Um, then you've got basically, I would imagine, the 
Secrets of the Labyrinth is kind of like an adventure that goes along with it. And this is just in the, in the sleeves. I don't have to worry about using my trusty letter opener that I got from the Renaissance Festival. All right, so here you um, again you got more more card stock st stuff in here. Um, this goes this goes in in, in deeper. Um, deeper explanations of the various places. Um, and then in a couple of scenarios, yeah, a couple like little mini adventures, I guess, in there. Uh, whatever. So yeah, it, this is this is cool. It'll be very uh, very in, uh, Interesting to be able to sit down and read read all this and see what what they've got to, to offer here. Um, <laughs> the, the, the print is just killing me though. It is, is bringing back so many memories. <laughs> uh, oh my god! But anyway, so cool. Yeah. All right. So there you have it, guys. Um, whenever I get around to uh, actually reading the the full thing, and I'll get come back and make another video and let you know what I thought about it. Uh, but thanks for watching and until next time and as always, see you soon.